All right, gentlemen. So this is the tragic story of one Courtney Montgomery, who thought he was a player on his way to have a threesome with some ghetto gotcha girls. And they tried to set him up. And in order to get free, guess what he had to do? The unspeakable fair use. Accused in a Westchester shooting that left one woman hurt may not be to blame. A judge ruled today that all charges be dismissed against this guy. That's Courtney Montgomery. This after investigators discovered new evidence in the case. WCPO 9 News reporter Larry Sewards live in Hamilton. Larry Montgomery had a lot to say. Through his attorney, Tanya, Montgomery claims to be a victim here, lured and attacked by two women in front of a child. In Butler County's Area 3 court. <laughs> Tears fell. Courtney Montgomery's head dropped too. <laughs> because I didn't want none of this. <laughs> I know. I, I didn't ask for none of this. I understand. I, understand. I didn't ask for this. Though cleared of right. Those are the high pitched squeals of a man in full blown. Back against the wall, my keister is puckered mode. And he's skinny. <laughs> and he light skinned too. He won't last another week. <laughs> because I didn't want none of this. I, know. I, know. I didn't ask for none of this. I understand. I, understand. I didn't ask for this. In Butler County's Area 3 court, <laughs> tears fell. Courtney Montgomery's head dropped too. <laughs> <laughs> they cleared of robbery and assault charges. What happened inside this Westchester apartment Wednesday still hurts. It's just the opposite of what was portrayed by the police department and what was portrayed by the media. A nine ah, come on. Get out of here. You telling me that the police lied? When has that ever happened? The media lied? Come on, the media painted a false narrative? You gotta be kidding me. Media. A 911 call led police to believe someone invaded this apartment, robbed two women, and shot one of them in front of her four year old daughter. I'm sorry, is there. So, did you see it happen? Yes, he came in. That's when he came into the wrong building. He had a gun, so we tried to wrestle him. Hours later, police. Yay. He came in, guessing he came in the wrong building, and he had a gun, so we tried to wrestle him. I, I got to see the face behind that voice, for real. I already know what it looks like. Yeah, that's Star Keisha right there. Arrested Montgomery. That could not have been done with, with many things without the dedication of the men and women standing behind you here. While Chief Joe Herzog saluted investigators, Montgomery, a man with no criminal history, hired lawyer Clyde Bennett. He's uh, very upset. Uh, he's nervous. He's scared. Um, he understands his peril. He's looking at decades in prison for something that he did not do. Now, if you don't know the difference between a court-appointed public defender and an actual competent seasoned attorney, try the difference between the next 25, 30 years in jail and charges being completely dropped. And if Mr. Montgomery didn't have that bread, He'd probably still be sitting up for the next 20, 30 years until one of these innocent projects came around to free his ass. In his 60s. And it blames his client's accusers. He claims the women lured Montgomery with text messages, offered a romantic encounter, then tried to rob him at gunpoint. You sock puppet. <laughs> so you fell for the old threesome in the tailpipe trick, did you? And she had the goons waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> is this some shit light skin niggas is prone to doing dumb shit like this? <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> He's envisioning all those unsolicited jailhouse sexual liaisons. <laughs> <laughs> poor guy. Dumb as shit, but poor guy. <laughs> Very upset. 
Uh, he's nervous. He's scared. Um, he understands his peril. He's looking at decades in prison for something that he did not do. Bennett blames his client's accusers. He claims the women lured Montgomery with text messages, offered a romantic encounter, then tried to rob him at gunpoint. Unbeknownst to them, I should say, he had a gun. And he used that gun to defend himself after they were robbing him with a gun. And he shot one of them in order to defend himself. He used that gun to defend himself after they were robbing him with a gun. And he shot one of them in order to defend himself. All right, there you go. You know, he popped somebody. You know, you can't be light skinned forever. You do some dark skin nigga shit. Shoot somebody. Prosecutors heard enough to request all charges dropped. In a statement, police said it's, quote, in the interest of justice, but they're not dropping the case. Investigators want the truth and plan to hold someone responsible. Prosecutors in Butler County plan to show evidence to grand juries. It is possible that those two women who accused Montgomery of all of this could be in trouble. We are live in Hamilton tonight. Larry Seward, WCPO 9 News. In the interest of justice why not just in the interest of the text messages and the phone calls that i have a record of me and her going back and forth her telling me to come over her friend is there we about to have a threesome why not just use those text messages you know what in the interest of justice means when a prosecutor or a da says in the interest of justice that's their way of saying these cops did some bullshit so we're going to drop the charges. That's what that means. That's their way of not contradicting the police officer publicly. Yeah, I just really figured that out. So I got text messages and phone calls of this woman telling me to come on through. I get over there. They try to rob me. I pop one of them. When the police arrive, that's exactly what I tell them happened. Why am I sitting in jail? Only way you sitting in jail is because the police did some bullshit. Some corrupt bullshit. So then you sitting in jail with a public defender and you telling him, hey, get my phone. That'll end all of this. So the public defender, this nigga sitting there, he, he looking around the room because he got 25 more cases today. So that nigga ain't paying attention to nothing you saying. Hey, you going to take a plea? That's all he keeps saying. You going to take a plea? You going to take a plea? <laughs> <laughs> on the first day, you ain't even sat down and talked nobody. He just tell you take a plea right there. So, you know, Mr. Montgomery is lucky he had the money for a real lawyer. Or he might have still been sitting his ass up. But then that goes to show you how corrupt these cops are. These cops must have uh, hid the evidence or something. Because the text messages and everything say it all. Unless they're trying to say that you went over there to rob them. But anyway, uh, uh, quite a few mistakes that Mr. Montgomery made here. Uh, three mistakes I can see specifically. Number one, he associated with broke booger bears. And you never associate with booger bears. You get what you get. You out here scraping the bottom of the barrel you're going to get sludge. That's what you get. So, you better step your game up and you better start trying to uh, maybe involve yourself in a better quality of women or just give them up all together. Might not be your thing, homeboy. Might need to try something else. I don't know. <laughs> With a high pitch scream like that. <laughs> uh, second mistake Mr. Montgomery made is you never... Ever, 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 ever go to a slaw's location. Ever. Ever. You meet at a neutral site. Preferably a hotel. Or somewhere where you picked and chose. All right? Yeah. Never go to a slaw's location. And last, you doom cuff. If you ain't never been that man... If you ain't been having threesomes up until this point, and then all of a sudden some random slaw is calling you up, talk about, hey, big papa, you want to have a threesome? You're figuring to get robbed, dummy. And next time, it might be you, Pookie, and Ray Ray in that threesome. <laughs>